women. Women are my passion. So, although I talk to all women, the black woman's pain is special to me because that's where I come from. Sonia Lee is an artist. She's a rebel. She's not just a singer. Sonia, the way that she speaks, you will get her point. Her talent is so raw, so much soul and body in it. There is no ceiling for her. You know, she looked like a star. Then I heard her sing and I was blown away. I ain't like these bitches. I'm different. You tripping it. Find your only. Having my music be my therapy so I don't go crazy and kill no fucking body because this could put me through so much stuff. <laughs> This is not play play. You don't take somebody's emotions and run all over them and then expect somebody to just not run all over you. So you break my heart, I break your stuff. <laughs> wow. Right now we're in Valesburg. We're in North New Jersey on Mount Avenue at my grandmother Cece's house. This house is historical and very, very crucial to knowing the beginnings of who I am as a person and as an artist, like, totally. My parents are mad musical. Like, everything I know about music, they taught me. My first song I learned, my dad taught me on a field trip. Summertime and living is easy. The harmony tip, daddy. Writing, my mother is an incredible writer. She's an author, so I know my writing definitely came from her. Some of the things that I remember most about Sonia is that she was always singing. Even if she was just going to say something to you, she would say it in a song. I've been writing as long as I've been singing. Me starting off singing was from me writing my own songs and singing along to them. I was a crazy ass child, so I would write songs and have a whole performance ready when my mom got home. Like, and you gonna sit down and watch it too. Sonia is the rawness of her father and the soulfulness of her mother. And all of those vocal arrangements, all of the harmonies, that's her producing herself in her head and then letting it out. She's taking those and she's creating different variants of harmony. Chasing these commas, y'all. From 40,000 to 100,000. 100,000, another 100,000. 300,000, 500,000, a million. That's a money, child. As soon as I seen her, I was like, oh, this girl's a star. I asked her, I was like, I was like, where you from? Where you live at? She was like, I live in the sky. I said, oh, this is one of them. First time I heard of Sonya was Who You Loving. I mean, she was singing, and then she had this beautiful voice, but then she came in rapping, and it reminded me of like some early Kim, Foxy. Who you gonna find go hard like me? Nail one of these bitches. Uh, I tell one of these bitches. Who? I was always a very honest songwriter because I use my music as therapy. I'm capable of writing anything for anyone, but when it comes to my music, I'm speaking from the that I've been through. I have written for Jeremiah, Sierra. I wrote with Jill Scott before. I did some stuff with Anderson Pack. I connected with Anderson through Game during the sessions for Game's Documentary 2 and 2.5 album. You know what, I've been working with Sonya for a little while, man, and she's an amazing talent. If you know Sonya, yeah, you don't have a vision for her, man. She uh, she makes her own vision, and that's how uh, you know talented people are, at least the geniuses. He like my little Robin Hood. I tell him all the time, like it would take a West Coast, <laughs> but he really like just believed in me. Like he just took a chance on some new talent. He had a lot of legends coming through there, so it was like a really good experience. Yes! Somebody got the EP. <laughs> She's Broken, He's Okay is based on this one relationship I was in for like my whole entire life. I love this guy like crazy. He's my first love. He took my virginity. He's like my first everything. I always say he broke me so that I could fix him. I really feel like that. I was able to like give him all of this love that he kind of lacked. But then in the end, it just kind of like drained me, you know? He gave me a lifetime worth of material, writing material. So I put that whole relationship into that EP, every single drop. I think I left a few things out for the album, but it's coming. <laughs> Mm 
my plan for Sonya is just let her be free and kind of guide her through, you know, music film. I'm watching like a Chevrolet commercials and I see Mary, Queen Latifah. I think Sonya is gonna be one of those. She's gonna have a long run. I see Sonya being that bridge that brings old school to new school. Sonya is gonna be the person to make you step your game up. There's a huge void missing in, in like hip hop R&B for like that around the way girl who's relatable, who is speaking like, you know, from your perspective. And you know, I just think, yeah, it's me. <laughs> they say love is free, but treat it wrong and pay the price. I ain't talking about